I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Tuesday, June 14th, our scripture is from the 7th chapter of Proverbs, verses 1 through 4. My child, keep my word and store up my commandments with you. Keep my commandments and live. Keep my teaching as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. And call insight your intimate friend. Word of the Lord. Never again. Keep my teaching as the apple of your eye. Verse 2. On this day in 1940, the Auschwitz concentration camp opened in Poland. Over the next five years, more than six million people, most of them Jewish, would be exterminated at this and other such camps. On this day in 1942, 13-year-old Anne Frank began writing a diary. Three years later, she would die in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. <clears throat> Today we remember the horror of this pure evil and how innocent goodness can be overcome by it. We do well to also remember the words on the fence of the Dachau concentration camp. Never again. To keep the teachings of God is to remember what they point to. The inbreaking of the reign of God. God through the risen Jesus is on the move. But in our world, there are still myriad examples of injustice, violence, and death. Evil appears to swallow the good, but the people of God are not deterred. We commit to keeping the teachings of God so that in small ways and sometimes large ones, we serve as the instruments by which God's desire for a blessed humanity is realized. Our prayer. O oh God, help us remember and learn from, from the past, heeding your call to justice and peace. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.